Sir George Martin, who's died at the age of 90. Well, the entertainment journalist and mega Beatles fan, Steve Hargrave, is here with me now. Lovely to have you on the programme on this sad day. Mm. You met George Martin several times. What was he like? Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it is sad, of course, but, but what a life. I mean, just looking there at all of the, the songs and the clips and... We're talking about someone who was just there at that pivotal moment when mm. music history took a massive turn. And, and the question a lot of people are asking is, what would have happened, you know, if George hadn't met the Beatles? Yeah. What, where would they have gone? Where would he have gone? And I, and I just think it was just one of those strange sort of quirks of fate where these people came together in 1962 when they first met at an audition to, to produce what they went on to produce. And, yeah, I, I got to meet him down the line a few times. Really lucky when I first started out and I... I remember going in as a Beatles fan like anyone and just seeing this very tall, well-dressed, good-looking, elegant man, you know, there he was, a sir, and, and just being, like, in awe, really, of being that guy who was in the same room there as, as McCartney at an event and, and going and saying hello and interviewing him a lot of times, sat down uh, about the legacy, about the Beatles as, as time went on and the various projects that he still did right until about 10 years ago. And, and what a great guy to talk to because not only has he got the stories, not only does he tell them in a way that is not putting himself up there with the gods or at all talking about himself in a, in a massive way. He was a calm, collected, very well-spoken, very polite man who really w was just appreciative of the fact that he, he got to do what he wanted to do. He mm. loved music, he loved making records, he loved producing people, loved playing tricks in the studio and, and that's really what he got to do. He had a really great toy box in Abbey Road and, and that's what he managed to do with the Beatles. Yeah, everyone talks about what a gentleman he was. Generous tribute uh, we heard at the beginning to Sir George from Paul McCartney and he wrote that long passage on his website that we saw. Uh, Sir George Martin really was so influential, we can't underestimate it, can we, on the Beatles. He was the older, the wiser man and they recognise that. Yeah, there's, there's probably, I mean, there's, there's a wealth of course of, of Beatles history that, that one can dive into really in terms of where they both came from in backgrounds. Many people at the time just assumed that George Martin was the posh guy who came from a well-educated background, kind of tidying up these scruffy lads from Liverpool, but he really wasn't. He came from a pretty working-class, middle-class background himself and was grew up with it as a Cockney accent, managed to lose that when he went and, and did service in the army. So he really came from very similar backgrounds, but what was really important at that time was that age difference, about 17 years on McCartney, I think, so about 15 to 20 years over the group as a whole, which was so important, really, in him just being able to be a father figure as McCartney has said uh, today in talking about George's passing, he, he was the guy who could steer them in a certain direction. They came with the songs and the talent on that level and he was someone, as a, a good producer has to be, who can take that and, and really twist it. What was integral as well was their personalities and the story is often told and George told me and many people himself, when he met them, he wasn't sure musically that they were going to offer anything different based on what they were bringing, but the personalities, they had a good sense of humour and they both loved comedy and that was very, very important. Well, that music and those personalities have endured Steve Hargrave.